today in the media conference with lal goyal which is brought to you by v4 news global tv v4 stream malnadu tv news gaon se samvad sarokar news organ donation india foundation and gyan our endeavor is to enlighten you with the current topic and especially about the impact of covid 19 and today our topic is covid 19 impact on artists artists are simple people with a complex mind the artists see what others only catch a glimpse of an artist is a person engaged in an activity related to creating art practicing the art or demonstrating an art the common uses in both everyday speech and academic discourse is a practitioner in the visual arts only the term is often used in the entertainment business especially in a business context for musicians and other performers auditoriums have fallen silent with music festivals and dance performances across the globe being cancelled art transcends all barriers and boundaries with art there is no race religion age or color just the joy of rhythm a joy that melts diversities and has the power to bring people together in one voice the current covid-19 pandemic is enough to daunt even the strongest but dance and music with its unique power is already serving as a useful vehicle of hope and positivity to bring relief into a world that could be perceived as struggling under a huge cloud of uncertainty and gloom dating back to history and ancient civilization dance and music were always been used in various ways be it prayer celebration or war today we are in a war of a different kind the whole world is fighting one common enemy the corona virus in times like these where people are forced to insulate themselves dance and music are slowly becoming a common way to bring people together and cheer them on the internet is full of free concerts and celebrated dancers singers and artists are beaming out art from their living rooms making the experience so much more real and personal just what the doctor ordered to spread hope and reassurance a lot of performance are also being shared on the internet as a way of keeping people engaged and positive aside from this individuals and groups are sharing all kinds of dances and music during the pandemic on an important aspect of the society is has been overlooked is the difficulties the artists are must be facing not the mainstream artists a lot of who have the privilege to release their work on otts but the folk and theater artists the storytellers and the classical music and dance performers what happened to them during covid 19 especially in the daunting economic crisis that everyone is faced with right now these artists were struggling to keep their art from alive even before how rapidly the meaning of entertainment and art was changing due to globalization and now with the covid 19 hit everything has come to a standstill during the epidemic work weddings music and dance concerts theaters and while some of them could somehow survive this pandemic largely it takes some time for the indigenous art forms to get back on their feet and to discuss today uh, about the covid-19 impact on artists we have a very very talented elite experienced Uh, panel with us and i would like to start uh, my with my first guest and she is uh, kala tilikam dr vinduja menon dr menon is a renowned indian classical dancer singer and actor she is a masters in indian classical music and doctorate in dance and music from kamraj university madurai in 1991 she was given prestigious kala tilikam title she won many awards such as renowned actor late shri prem najir award all kerala social service association award 
दूरदर्शन फेमस नाना अवार्ड वर्ल्ड मलयाली कन्वेंशन अवार्ड हेल्ड एट न्यू जर्सी यूएसए पुलारी आर्ट्स एंड कल्चरल एसोसिएशन अवार्ड एट कुवैत एक्सेट्रा शी परफॉर्म्ड ऑल ओवर इंडिया एज वेल एज इन यूएसए जर्मनी स्विट्जरलैंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया कुवैत बहरीन सिंगापुर मलेशिया एंड यू ए इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्स शी असिस्टेड श्रीमती विमला मैनन इन कोरियोग्राफिक ए मोहिनी नाट्यम मोहिनीटम मोहिनीटम डांस परफॉर्मेंस विथ ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड डांसर्स paving the way into world guinness record book in acting she won several awards including prestigious kerala sangeet nataka academy's best actress award surasu memorial best actress award pravasi bharti chal chitra ratna award etc she anchored various tv programs and stage shows including asia net tv's first musical program sa re ga ma she dubbed voices for many movies and serials she acted in 28 malayalam movies she is also honorary secretary of one man expert commission government of india ministry of labor she coordinated various stakeholders organized meetings and webinars collected opinions suggestions and views etc on soft power under the guidance and leadership of dr c v anand bose ies she drafted the report on art and culture which constitute india's soft power welcome dr vindu menon on our show dr menon you have heard i what report i read and you being a renowned artist yourself and the covid 19 has impacted everyone uh, around across the globe now we would like to know from you the covid 19 impact on artists Dr. Vinduja Menon, please. Thank you, Mr. Goel. A very warm good morning to you and uh, to the renowned panelist we have, uh, the singer P. Unnikrishnan Sir Unyatan, the great dance teacher from Kerala, Jog Marsh, and to all those who are watching us live now. Uh, before I answer your question, Mr. Goel, I want to take this opportunity. to specially congratulate you uh, for the great initiatives and efforts that you have taken to conduct uh, and organize all these you know webinars the numerous number of webinars on various topics especially which is very very relevant during this pandemic uh, situation and uh, i think it is very very appreciative and very commendable congratulations from not just from me from all the artists across the world thank you so much and uh, i want to start today's discussion on a very positive thought which hit me during the uh, the most crucial uh, times during this pandemic situation i think the world has recognized and um, you know understood the values and importance of entertainment uh, the importance of art forms you know which helped us to survive the the most crucial pandemic times uh, with much more uh, easiness and it helped us to stay connected it helps us to stay you know um, in a, in a very good mental and physical stability and i actually feel very privileged and honored to be one among the uh, huge great artistic community you know which has given back to the society at this crucial time it's such a immense pleasure and you know uh, proud to be to become and to being an artist as such many a times i felt many a times we have uh, dwelt and lived in in our uh, you know past times we we have uh, planned a future so ahead uh, um, you know more more for our future and i realized at this time uh, what more important is now here at this very moment what we are li living i uh, i think that is the most important lesson which which hit me during the pandemic crisis it's not, it's not the past it's not the future it is the moment that we are living now uh, we have seen the uh, reinstatement of humanity gratitude and more focus on you know on compassion 
um, as uh, the late Schumacher uh, rightly said, small is beautiful. You know, we have started um, uh, appreciating, encouraging more of small things, which is more beautiful, which we have, um, you know, we have never realized in our times. So that is a very good positive thing, which I have, you know, uh, realized and which I'm trying to focus more on these times. Uh, having said that, I don't think just the pandemic crisis, but I think, but even more, you know, even maybe uh, for the past three, four years across India, the artists are suffering from the continuous uh, hit of natural calamities uh, with, uh, with the combination of uh, 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 inattentiveness and careless attitude from various directions. Um, um, hence, Hence, there is a, they are traumatized, they are petrified with lack of working opportunities, the kind of economical and financial crisis, uh, various instabilities, what not actually to add on here. See, when, I, when we think about art and artists, the first thing which comes to our mind, to anybody's mind, is the glamour, the sheer brightness that we, we see uh, in and around art forms the successful stories and names from the industry, um, the wealthy and worthy positions they have. But the actual actual truth is that the successful stories and, and, and the names that we hear is just handful. Uh, behind and beyond all the smiling, uh, glamorous faces, there are so many sad and traumatic stories. Um, you know, they are trying to excel or trying to make a living out of these art forms. Uh, somewhere, you know, I, I tend to remember um, a famous uh, quote, quote, I mean, rather a saying of a legendary actor, a veteran actor, Charlie Chaplin, who says, I always like walking in the rain, so no one can see me crying. I think this this statement is absolutely true um, uh, to the, especially with the artist uh, in India, especially. Uh, they, the, this, this truth of, you know, the smiling face and then crying inside, which is the truth with the artists have been um, tolerating or abiding with for many, many years. While, while thinking on the aspects, I think one of the main reasons uh, in India, in India especially, art and artists, um, are never considered or never labeled under um, let me let me the the kind of inverted comma i wanted to say is the professionals they are never labeled as the professionals you know when we think about professionals it's just engineering or medicine or law or commerce but never ever art you know, we are very skeptical. In fact, our parents are very doubtful whether our children has to, you know, pursue or choose art as a career. Uh, performers, learners, seekers, and all that associated with art is always considered and labeled and treated as, I think, entertainers. Yes, they are entertainers who make us happy, who make us think, you know, who, who emote their emotions, uh, who make us feel um, successful, like an achiever. But at the same time, they dedicate their time and hard efforts, not just to build uh, their own career, but they are also trying to build up the, so, uh, the soft power of our country, which we always ignore. You know, professions like medicine, engineering, law, of course, they have, when we even think about it, we think, wow, what, what, a, what an achievement. You know, they have spent so many years. They have put a lot of time, their efforts. We, we tend to, you know, build up on, on that. But I have no offense. I do respect all these professions because that's the content of our uh, times. But um when we when we identify a child who has a potentiality of art who likes art it at least take 10 to 15 years of their lifetime to learn the basics of art in any art form the material of any art form any art form 10 to 15 years of basic learning then practicing understanding the art form and then only slowly the excelling happens so actually by the time the steps of mastering happens, 20 
good years is gone or 25 good years is gone and when you start mastering it's actually a lifetime process your journey is for lifetime um, it is not 10 years or 15 years of your your time it is a lifetime the the moment when you are recognized and called as a artist you are at 60s and 70s i think uniyatan and jogmash would definitely agree on this point that you know it's a lifetime journey it's not just like any other so there is no comparison with art as a profession to any other profession i would say so it's a lifetime journey of process every time when i think about art and it's it's, it's related thing this point comes to my mind many a times it crosses my mind many a times we have heard many times about the campus interviews uh, you know um, the um, in the universities and colleges and big international firms or the local companies barging into the universities uh, grabbing their candidates for the uh, for their um, you know firms with glittering and glamoured packages and offers but have we ever heard about any art art institution or for that matter any uh, companies or firms which promote art like going to any of the colleges and selecting a student for their art career or for the benefit of art we have never heard that let's let's talk about um, quotas we have heard sports quota we have heard um, you know um, quotas reserved for uh, unprivileged communities but have we ever heard about art quota anywhere anywhere so i i see a contrast here you know i see some unevenness here and there which has to be rectified at least at this pandemic times is what i feel um, the the small letter of art a r t has a magical has actually evolved and magically branched out into various art forms you know in bharadas natya shastra uh, we say it as 64 art forms you know but i think now at this contemporary time it should be more than 64 for sure so since each art form has its own identity its own skeleton its own bones and nerves and veins i think the most important it has of course it has most importantly heart and soul so it is unique and so the requirement for each art form will vary from you know art form to art form and to artist to artist uh, you know to make my point much more clear see when i am performing on stage as a dancer when i am performing uh, i have to take care i have to ensure that you know my makeup my jewels my costumes are are you know attractive enough and uh, of course my i have to have a good rapport practice sessions with my orchestra my live orchestra now that it's cd but i prefer to do only live so my live orchestra uh, and then it's very important for a dancer to have a good stage you know the lighting is very important the audio sound is very important um, uh, the vision for the audience is very important um each even the curtain dropping is also very important the background curtain is very important so smallest the slightest thing what we think well, that is not important is very important for a dance recital but when uniyatan is performing his musical concert let's say like that he, he it is not so mandatory that he has to be you know in a very well dressed but it can be in a normal decent dressing so the dressing can be a little okay he, it is not necessary that it should be a big lighting because music is all about hearing right hearing so it's it's basically he doesn't have to mind whether it is the length and breadth of the um, stage so it what i'm trying to say is each thing matters in art form to excel and to you know uh, to learning is a process and same way the implementation of things in art itself is a big thing so if you when a carpenter doesn't have a right tool in tools in his hand then it wouldn't be he wouldn't be able to give a creative imagination as an artwork right so every art form is unique but then the policies or whatever um, help or support or aid that we are getting cannot be the similar it shouldn't be the similar so sometimes i think because of the vast amount of varied art forms uh, uh, especially in, in india we have um, of course we do have policies and scheme but which is not sufficient enough to support 
the artist who is actually uh, you know in a, such a traumatic situations i don't why i don't want to discuss the traumatic situation because we have discussed this n number of times n number of times we have heard the um, traumatic conditions or what the um, difficulties that artists are going through so let's now discuss about something where are we lacking what where, where should we cover it up where should we um, revitalize it you know so when we planned our future of a country i think uh, it was very well planned we very well planned our constitution the infrastructure the economic and social political financial capabilities were very well planned of course now the education policies are upgraded um, there are new policies implemented but what we actually forgot is to reform and improve the soft power of our country which is the artist art itself is a movement i believe that i think uh, the social revo- reformation which happened happening and going to happen is in any country is art driven for sure so we have great incidents and scenarios in our history where uh, you know we can see uh, people are getting influenced by art culture tradition heritage which means the, the impact of art can bring in our, the impact of art is so immense that which which it it needs more uh, attention and revitalization i actually believe art is the movement which we have to you know any government or any country which has to have a more focus on it so india is actually very naturally blessed i don't have to tell any one of you but any of the listeners as well because we know india is truly blessed naturally and it is the richest country ever especially in cultural aspects too you know i don't think india can be compared to any other country for that matter for its richness especially in culture tradition uh, heritage art you know so now it's high time that we realize the um, potentiality of soft power in our country and get into action mode uh, action mode from the government from the society from the people people itself so i think um you know um more of revitalization upgrading action plans and policies um giving the artistic society uh, i think giving giving something to the artistic artistic society something giving more to the country itself so we have to um let's let's not grip and crave on just the grievances at not now let's let's go beyond it and plan um, um, um more effectively on on the uh, welfare of the artist when the welfare of the artist are taken care automatically art forms and uh, will flourish much effectively much uh, positively in and around the world is what i believe i think i want to hold uh, my uh, reserve my thoughts here at this juncture i would like to hear from unnetan and uh, job much because i know he they are all more experienced than me so i would like to hear from them before i go into our next discussion thank you so much Hey, thank you, uh, Dr. Menon. I, I have taken you for the for, in the beginning of the program because you were associated with the One Man Expert Commission, and that's why you know what is happening from the government side also, which that's we will right, discuss, sir. which we will be discussing in the next uh, segment. Okay. Now, I would like to invite, but before that, I would like to just summarize what Dr. Menon says. Two things, uh, two three things she said very important. First thing she said that it is a very positive time because we have realized during the pandemic. the value of the life the value of the gratitude uh, the compassion etc but she says the unfortunate part is that it is not only the pandemic or the covid before that also for 3 4 years or more the artists were not giving the right place which they deserve and she specifically says that nowhere the artists are categorized like the professionals which when we talk about the professional we always consider the doctors engineers uh, and other uh, professions as a professions advocates etc but we never consider the artist as a profession so she said that uh, because it is not easy to become an artist one has to spend so much time uh, initially to learn and when they become artist it is, and if that time if they are not getting proper support from the society and the government then it is not a good thing for the mm-hmm. art and for the artist and the society or the country also and she said that in india 
uh, this form because we always see in India few uh, artists, those who are wealthy, those who are those who have a, having name, and we consider that all artists are in the same, but we forget that it is only very few selected one. What about the others? The majority of artists who are not that wealthy, who are not getting that much work and their sufferings are not seen. And she has given a quote of Charlie Chaplin also in that way. So she says, but she also mentioned that India is the richest country as far as the art and culture tradition is concerned. So she says we have to understand and explore our own inbuilt uh, uh, tradition and the art and culture if we will do that then country because the soft power is the time now where all the countries and uh, I will add one few things here that I have done a program on software recently and uh, surprisingly all other countries including China uh, they are uh, starting universities in India uh, to sell their uh, to market their art and culture. Earlier, when we were a um, very small uh, student, we still remember that uh, Soviet Union used to send their uh, literature along with a free calendar, almost free, so that uh, we were, uh, and they were selling it in the school and colleges to influence our art and culture. But unfortunately, India is lacking behind it. India should do it. And when we had done a program, uh, the suggestion was that India must depute their artists on a rotation basis to different countries attached with the embassy there so that those artists will perform there, discuss with them and see to it that our art and culture can also be promoted. And, uh, and everybody knows that uh, our art and culture is so old. Uh, uh, we know the Nalanda University and whatnot. So that is, and according to Dr. Menon, if we will do it, which the governments are doing it, then we can very well see to it that our country can rule as far as the soft power is concerned. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Menon, for giving your very uh, frank and uh, open views. Now I would like to invite a very, very important guest on our show. And he is Kalai Mamini P. Unni Krishnan. Mr. Unni Krishnan is a renowned Indian Carnatic vocalist as playback singer. He is a national film awardee. What makes Mr. Unni Krishnan unique is his rare ability to perform in Carnatic music, light music, fusion music, and film music with the felicity and fineness the national award-winning playback singer hailing from Palkad has given a new dimension to South Indian playback singing, imparting to it a rare flavor of Carnatic music. Mr. Unni Krishnan has his degree in commerce from the Ramakrishna Mission Vivekanand College, Chennai. He has also earned a degree in general law and postgraduate diploma in personal management and industrial relations. He is having lots of achievements if I will read all the achievements, it will take my whole show, but I will be reading few or very, very, uh, I must say, tremendous achievements which he have. And they, that is, he has performed over 2000 concerts across the world. He collaborated with great names across the globe for variety of thematic concerts and fusion concerts with senior and contemporary musicians like the Ali Amin Zaz Quartet, Mandolin U. Srinivas, Pandit Vishwa Mohan Bhatt, Chitra Veena Ravi Kiran, etc., etc. He has lent his voice to popular albums like Jana Ganaman by A.R. Rahmanji, Thiru Vachar Gan by Masterio Ilya Raja, Soul of India, a special interpretation of the national anthem, which were released as a symbol of India's poetic heritage. One of the popular songs, Unborn Children, tuned by Master A.R. Rahman and sung by Unni Krishnanji has been used in a recent Hollywood film, Million Dollar R. He sang his first ever film song for Oscar winning music composer A.R. Rahman. In 1994, this song for the movie Kadalan, Ina Wale Adi Ina Wale. You have to excuse me because I am not familiar with the Malayalam, but I am trying, or, or it's a Tamil. 
okay, is it, it is Tamil. So I, 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 you have to excuse me. So, but, uh, so he uh, sang the, for the movie, Kadalan, Inavale Adi Inavale, became an evergreen hit and fetched him the national award for the best male playback singer. He has since then recorded more than 2,000 film songs in all regional languages under all the top music directors, amongst which several of them have been chart toppers. He has released over 200 albums in Carnatic music, fusion and devotional music, which have been chart busters as well as top favorites amongst music lovers. He belonging to a family of philanthropists and Ayurvedic medicines. Mr. Unni Krishnan has taken initiative in several social causes. He has done innumerable charity concerts for the benefit of tsunami victims, the flood affected underprivileged children and differently abled children. He recorded over 2,000 film songs and 5,000 devotional songs for Tamil, Telugu, Kannada and Malayalam films. He won several awards and titles. The prominence are the title Kali Mamani by Government of Tamil Nadu in the year 1995, the title of Mridhu Garna Mani from the Shankaracharya of Kanchi, the title of Sangeeta Chudamani from the prestigious Krishna Gana Sabha in 2019, received two national awards for the best, best male playback singer for the year 1994 for his first ever film song, Inavale, from the film Kadalan and Yuviram Ni. Yuviram Ni. Yeah. From Pavitra in the year 1994. He received the Tamil Nadu State Award for the best male playback singer for the year 2001 and 2004, and so on and so on and so on. So, as I mentioned, if I will start reading it, is because I I'm getting lots of uh, profiles from all my panelists, but I have not seen such a powerful uh, profile of a uh, such a great artist. Welcome, uh, uh, Mr. P. Unni Krishnan, on our show. Uh, Mr. Mr. Unni Krishnan, you have already heard what Dr. Vinduja Menon has mentioned, and she was yes. very clear about the the greatness of the artists in India and the sufferings of those artists who are not well to do. Now, you being one of the renowned artists, not only of South India, I must say the entire country, rather the world. Now, we would like to know from you the COVID-19 impact on artists. Uh, Mr. P. Unni Krishnan, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Goel. Uh, Can you just uh, uh, switch on your uh, video, please? I think your video is off, uh, Mr. Unni Krishnan. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, please. Now it is on. Yeah, it is on. Yes, please. Oh, okay. I think. Uh... No, again, it is gone. Oh, it is gone, is it? Okay. Yeah. It's not there. One, one minute. Let me just. Hmm. Oh. And while he's uh, uh, joining, I would like to mention that, uh, that he has uh, uh, done a, a consult with uh, Pandit Vish Mohan Bhatji and uh, 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 Padam Vibhushan uh, uh, Pandit uh, Vish Mohan Bhatji came on my show uh, about uh, two months back or three months back. And he has, uh, the show was uh, the COVID-19 impact on the classical singers. And at that time, he has also uh, raised many issues, which I'm going to discuss uh, with uh, Mr. Unni Krishnan. One is, uh, uh, your video is still off, Mr. Unni Krishnan. Uh, oh. If you can switch on your video, please. We are waiting for your face to see. Okay. Um, uh, I think there's some. Yes. Yeah, some, yeah, now it is on. Now it is on. Uh, so we can see you. Yes, yes, please go on. Going off. <clears throat> so, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Goel, for having me on the show. It's uh, uh, such a pleasure and it's uh, such an honor to uh, be here today. 
um and thanks uh, especially to ms vindhuja for the invitation and uh, and for enlightening us on various points um about the difficulties artists are facing during this uh, uh pandemic uh no was, again again it has gone again yeah or shall i just uh, yeah okay so you some, i yeah. just keep going maybe there's some ha uh, will you uh, or sh- should you go to mr job first yeah yeah i i think that will be better so the, yeah yeah please okay, log out and then log in yes yes please yeah. no problem yeah. so yeah. so i would like to go now uh, to our next uh, panelist and uh, he is mr job master mr mr one, one more one moment please i will just and now uh, i would like to go to my next panelist and he is uh, mr job master some some disturbance is yes sir your election is going on mr job some some noise is coming from your side yeah it's it's, it's gone sir no problem it was election campaign okay okay then it's fine okay today the elections are on in kerala yeah. yes okay fine so uh, mr job master is a renowned choreographer he is a district secretary of all kerala dance teachers organization thrissur that is called akdto he is the founder and director of arpna dance academy thrissur he is a senior dance exponent in both classical and other forms of traditional dances being a danceologist and lyricist he has been serving the art field for the past 33 years he has done choreography in malayalam and hindi films reality shows mega stage shows etc he has trained more than 15000 students all over kerala and abroad many of his students were awarded with kala athilikam and kala pratibha title in various school and colleges state youth festivals his choreography is enriched with new and original technical movements his troupe is engaged in various tv programs in dance and dance drama as a lyricist he has written more than 100 dance songs and they are widely appreciated by the dance world mc audios thrissur and millennium audios calicut has published three volumes of audio cassettes of the above songs he has composed bible themes like ten commandment uh, puthana puthan panna in bhat natyam and mohini natyam style compositions which were telecasted by doordarshan kendra thrissur as good friday and easter special programs that was a great milestone in his dance career to support the artist community during the pandemic period he solely directed his debut short film chhatra the student to spread awareness on the sufferings of artists in the period of lockdown welcome uh, mr job on our show mr job you have heard what uh, dr vinduja menon has mentioned she has mentioned she has uh, given both the side the positive side that india is culturally very very rich and indian artists are very dedicated and they are having very good uh, name but according to dr menon there are many very few are having the name and fame and wealth but the rest all are not that wealthy not having that name or fame and they suff- they are not suffered during the pandemic but they were suffering before pre pandemic also pre covid era for last many years because they are not getting full support what they used to get but she says now the government is doing lots of thing and especially the soft power now we would like to know from you mr job master the covid 19 impact on artist mr job master please thank you sir thank you for uh, i would like to express my gratitude to you all for inviting me in this great session and uh, it's a great privilege also i would like to thank my organization 
ekdto or kerala dance disease organization and its uh, patron guru shrimati kalamatra dimalamana and her wonderful daughter uh, dr vinduja menon for uh, inviting me here it's a great pleasure for me to know you sir royal sir it's a great pleasure because uh, you are such an outstanding personality such a great humanitarian and you did all this for the welfare of the community of arts okay. uh, then uh, i also wanted to start my talk with a quote you know art and life are the two sides of a coin art and life is that much connected as pablo picasso said art washes away the everyday best, best in everyday life art washes away best in everyday life pablo picasso said so yes we assume that uh, artists are like any of us like unir unirdan and davintija our uh, upper class or middle class or rich film stars but uh, i think uh, more than 80% of artists in india are from lower middle class and uh, a huge uh, number of them are from marginalized communities oh you know after 20th march we all know after 20th march 19 Uh, 2020 we have to face a huge wall in front of us it says like uh, you you are not permitted here it's not your space you be there where you are as i mentioned earlier that uh, marginalized community the very stronger part in the society i mean in artistic community how to face they have to face not the balance in their uh, credit cards or uh, moratorium balance repayments or uh, what is a uh, bank debts nothing they have to face how can i find how can they find out a penny or a, how can i how can they fund for their uh, next meal to protect their families how can they fi- find fund for their essential medicines to uh, to help the uh, seniors parents that was such a such a great situation sir because uh, i have to face a lot of such problems during this pandemic era because all are all the artists in kerala i mean on kerala and all in, all over in all over india are uh, getting some programs during festival seasons or the gatherings happens incorporated with such seasons when these festivals put a full stop where where do they go okay they can do odd jobs or some agricultural jobs but then too when they do when they go for that jobs people ask them oh you are here once upon a time you what 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 were you you were in limelight you you were such a uh, uh, with such, uh, such that much popularity now you are in down you come to me okay we, we don't have a job for you why because they are all people think that artists they are there to make us fun make us happy as vindu ji said earlier uh chaplin's quote true all artists are including me thinks uh, people think that oh, they are so happy but inside us we are crying really because getting recognized is not the problem but getting humiliated is the main problem i think so the artists in india and all over the world suffers a major issue that the identity the identity is like a question mark is art matter or artist matter art and artist matter always world over in french revolution and every revolution every problems whatever may be there are artists to pro- to unite the people together with their slogans with their performance and everything that we are getting the culture we are through the culture 
we are getting more stronger. We know about this. So art is an inseparable part of our life. So then why people are thinking that uh, artists are uh, essential? Art is essential. Really, sir, in this pandemic situation, we have to raise a lot of money to help the artists. Okay. Uh, state government uh, and the central government did some help, a little help. It was not at all enough, sir. It was not at all enough. So we have to find out some money to help the poor and needy artists. For that purpose, we have to contact the public. And we reach the public, they say, oh, you people are getting a lot of money. They think that artist means the uh, silver screen and rich film artists, rich singers and everything. So they are getting published and their money. So why can't you go that to that guys and ask them to help you? I told them, we are all helping each other. And uh, uh, to be very frank with you, sir, uh, in our uh, Kerala, we got help from Anandam Foundation and Abhay, Association of uh, Bharatanatyam Artists in India. We got help. The, we are almost uh, 3 lakhs or 4 lakhs rupees. So, so much help uh, helps are getting from the same-minded communities or same-minded peoples. But in the same time, the normal people, normal society turned back. But in the same time, they need all the artists and their values when they have free time, when they have uh, programs, when they have their uh, functions, we, where they need us to be their guest of honor, to be their guest of uh, entertainment, to and uh, to make them happy, to make them proud. The, yeah, I have a guest, I have a super guest, superhero, super guest with me. He's coming, they will publish it in the uh, media and everywhere. Here that guy comes, this hero comes, or this musician comes, or this uh, dancer comes and he performs for my daughter's marriage. Yeah. Recently in Kerala, uh, Ms. Chopana came to perform for a dance, I mean, for a uh, wedding ceremony. But they spent huge money for all that things now. But in such a, in this critical situation, an artist faced such a challenge, everybody, everybody, it means almost 90% of the society turned back. They say, we don't have money. There is no work, no shops, no no audience, uh, no uh, customers coming, nothing here. Then how can I help you? We can't help you. Oh, just uh, a thousand rupees, 500 rupees, like begging. Then I we stop begging. From that moment, we stop begging and we uh, find out other ways and helping uh, within our society, within our community and so on. And, so. and uh, I would like to say a lot, of, a lot more things are regarding this. Uh, that uh, that is why I just asked that question: Is art matter, or is art matter? Why? Because I have two kids. I thought not two kids. I have 15, more than fifteen percent students. I have. I have taught a lot of students, and uh, I told everyone that this is in Kerala, uh, the in syllabus dance is not there. Everything is extracurricular. So I told them curriculum is your studies, and extracurriculum is dance. You learn dance or you learn whatever you want, music, dance, or uh, uh, rhythm, in instruments, whatever it may be. But concentrate on your studies and grab a job. Only in that way you can survive with your art. Otherwise, in this era, I can't, I, I, I will never say that an artist with his artistic talent can survey his life. But I'm pretty sure about it. So, I told my my daughter and son uh, they are good art they are good artists but I told them study well and take art as a part as well. so any I can surely say that any artist in India won't allow his or uh, her hire to be an artist like her sure maybe there are some exceptions very little exceptions but sir most of them won't allow because we know that what we have to face from the society, what we have to give back, what was the uh, what was the word of uh, affection, what was the word uh, meaning of uh, love, care, 
gratitude. We, uh, we had a lot. We got a lot of experience. Uh, that's why uh, this is the main problem. Our, now also, our in our society is not recognized as a uh, superb one or as a great profession. They, people now to think that artists are there to uh, may make them fun or uh, le- give them some relaxation. Okay, they, they, they comes, they go. So nobody tells about them. And there are some entertainers. Like Chaplin said, we are all trying. We want to cry in the rain because nobody can see Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Job. Mr. Job and Mr. Job said that the art and life are two parts of the coin, two sides of the coin. And he asked a very pertinent question and he says whether art and artist matters. And he, with full pain and anguishness, he explained, he says, this pandemic, the worst sufferers were the artists because artists, wherever they go, People always expect them for the entertainment purpose. For that, they, they will make them laugh. They will make them happy. But when they wanted uh, for their bread, butter, they wanted money or they wanted some job, people, those uh, in general public, they were turning back. No, we are not having anything for you. No jobs for you. Why you are coming? You are such a famous person. Uh, what happened to you? Like these questions which are hurting the artist the most. And he, according to Mr. Job, it was like a begging for 500. If somebody, he goes to somewhere, he means any artist goes somewhere, they just give, okay, take 500 rupees, like they are the beggars. The same people, whenever there is a function, pre-COVID era or any programs, they feel proud to call the artist for their wedding of their children or for any occasion. And they used to say that, see, look, so-and-so artist has performed at my daughter's wedding or has come to my inaugural function, etc. And But he also mentioned one thing, ki if we will see the history, the art and the artist, the main thing is artist. They were the person who, have, uh, who has preserved the our culture and history, and he has given even the example of French Revolution. So when he says, when such types of things are on, he mentioned that the state government or the central government, they are doing very less for the artist. And only thing, whatsoever has been done, it is but done by their own association, uh, which are helping them up to a limit. But he says there are many, many artists who are not getting even the bread and butter or for the daily uh, meals. So it is a very, very bad condition, uh, pity conditions for the artist. And uh, when he was talking, I was just remembering my association with the uh, ace choreographer, Bollywood ace choreographer, Mrs. Saroj Khan. I was associated with her for many, many years. And uh, I found that um, uh, she was so kind hearted uh, that uh, even one of the top artists, I will not name, he became the topmost artist, the dancing hero of the Bollywood. When he came, approached to her, he said, I don't have money to pay your fees. She said, no problem, I will teach you. And she has not charged anything. But after some few years, then, then he became a super duper hero in the Bollywood. She was ill and she was admitted to the hospital. He came and he gave a four lakhs rupees check to the family and said, please don't tell Master Ji, uh, the Saroj Khan Ji, she will feel bad. But I know that she is such a kind lady. She never... If anybody pays, fine. If the nobody pays, no problem. She was like that. So we can understand the situation. I At that time, I used to talk to her. I said, why you are doing this? She says, no, if I will not do, who will do? Uh, Bollywood has given me so much. I want to give to others. And this is what the artist is. Artist always wants to give their art to their disciples, to everyone. And this is a situation when they want something from us. We, the, the responsibility lies with the civil society. We are responsible, we are not giving to them. Thank you very much, Mr. Job. We understand the pains and anguishness across the artist because I'm doing lots of programs on artists and I know what is the real situation. Thank you very much for giving your views so frankly. Uh, now I would like to go uh, back to uh, uh, Mr. Unni Krishnan. I'm sure now he's, uh, with, uh, he's, uh, he's visible. 
Mr. Unni Krishnan is there. Yes, I can see him. Uh, Mr. Unni Krishnan, you have heard now Dr. Menon, and you have also heard Mr. Job. Dr. Menon has given both the sides, positive and negative. Mr. Job has given the reality, the real sense, the position of the artist. And uh, to be very frank, before you will say, I will tell you one thing. Uh, uh, the last one of the program, uh, they, all the artists were talking very high that uh, we have learned so much. Uh, we, they, this has shown us the family value. Now we have so much time to spend with our family. Everything they were talking very nicely. Then I asked only one question. Are you getting satisfaction? You are financially okay, no problem. Then the, the lady, the artist, she started almost crying. And she says, the condition is so bad, I cannot express to anybody that I want money. Because we are not beggars. We are artists. We are very emotional persons. We have a mastery on our art. And if we will ask somebody to pay us, how we can do like that? At that time, we, I, I can understand the agony and pain. Now, you are a very, very successful. You are a name yourself. And you are helping many of artists. And you are doing so many things. We would like to know from you now the COVID-19 impact on artists. Mr. Unni Krishnan, please. Oh, no. Please speak loudly. We, I can't hear you properly. No, your voice is not coming, Mr. Unni Krishnan. Hello, check. Yeah, no. no, very less. Can you just remove your earphones and then try? No. Just see if we, without earphones, if the voice will come. And I removed it and now. Stop ah, it. Now it is better. It's still, if you just speak loudly, then I think that will be better. Check. Check. Sorry. Check. I don't know if you can hear. Very less, very less. Uh, Dr. Menon, please help me. Uh, can you hear properly? I, I can't hear myself. Dr. Menon, please unmute. Please unmute Dr. Menon and just... Very little, Lunetta. Very little. Not clear what you're trying to speak. Mm -hmm. You want to hold your speaker like this? Yeah. Your, yeah. your, your phone yeah, like this? Your mic, you... Huh. Yeah. Okay. Now, 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 now you speak. Capacity. Now please speak. No. No, we can't hear you. No, some, some, eh? I think some problem is going on. Just, just see. Uh, meanwhile, I will tell uh, one more incident, uh, not incident, rather it was in a film, what the uh, Mr. Job was explaining and even Dr. Menon has explained about the uh, flight of an artist. So I remembered one uh, Hindi uh, movie, Mera Naam Joker, in which uh, 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 the role of Joker was played by great showman Raj Kapoorji. And while he was playing the, in the last segment or which one of the segment, uh, he came to know that his mother is no more. But he has to play as a Joker. And he was wearing a dark glasses, but he was from inside, he was crying and he was showing that he was laughing and he was making others laugh. This is the life of an artist. Artist is such a person who can make you laugh, who can make you cry, who can bring all emotions. But today they require us. And what we are doing, I am sure that we require to rethink. Uh, uh, what is the position now, Mr. Unni Krishnan? Can we hear you now? Uh, one minute. I'll just, uh... Uh, please increase the volume of your device. Try, I think some... Um, uh... What the issue is... Well, let me just... Now, now it is better. Uh, you are, you have increased. You now. Coming better. It's coming better. Now it is better. You just bring your mic to your, uh, uh, you know, close to your. Uh, uh, just. Is it better? It is not better. I will say that. Yeah. Just try from the other device. I think you are joining from the other device also. Mm, just see, ha, other device. Uh, Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Now close the, the earlier, earlier device. Please close the earlier device. One moment. Yes. yes, yes, yes. You, you close, close the earlier device. The earlier, earlier. Yeah. Now, now. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Good. we can hear you now. Go ahead. Good. Okay. Thanks. Sorry. Uh, once again for all that confusion. 
So thank you very much, Mr. Goel, for having me on this uh, show. Uh, very interesting points, uh, Mr. Job and uh, Binduja brought out, and uh, of course, we all know that you know there there have been a lot of positives that this pandemic has brought. I mean, what I think is the biggest. Uh, you know the uh, positive that has happened is that a lot of artists came together you know most of the time we are all we have always been busy performing and doing our own stuff traveling and we never really thought about the other artists your fellow artists but with this pandemic i think it just brought all musicians together to help musicians in need and that's the best thing that happened here and that's uh, something i would like to uh, also uh, share although yes we all know that this pandemic has brought a lot of financial stress mental stress due to uncertainties and uh, that eventually leading to a lot of depression affecting their health see most of the musicians they don't have proper medical insurances uh, uh, you know when we talk about artists we always uh, talk about singers dancers maybe instrumentalists but there are so many other art forms so many brilliant artists who are neglected ignored even otherwise you know even if in a normal circumstances many of them don't get opportunities and then can you imagine in a pandemic like this they're all completely uh, devastated because of course we have online performances but not everybody can perform from their living rooms they don't have the uh, facility not everybody has that very very ha- few a handful of us uh, we probably have so at least god has been kind to some of us and seeing that seeing the uh, our fellow musicians suffer many of us frontline artists came together and uh, decided to provide artists uh, families with uh, a monthly assistance of at least you know say to start off with 3000 to 5000 uh at least for a few months to cover uh the costs of their basic rations and uh provisions uh initially this was all done through personal contributions of uh artists and then through their contacts through their uh, through our students uh, we reached out to all over the world I and mean, students and uh uh good hearted people all over the world a lot of people came um, forward to contribute see i i am a vice president of the uh of an organization called the gcma it's it's the global carnatic musicians association uh, we started this last year to represent carnatic musicians uh, protect their interests provide avenues and opportunities for you know leveraging benefits both financial and otherwise and to build uh, and promote better relationships between uh, the artists and government institutions organizations uh, media uh, the rasikas and uh, sponsors so when the pandemic came in march we were already ready and we had this association in place and we could immediately swing into action and provide support to about 500 musicians it's a, it's a small number but we were able to at least get we had the da- database of all these 500 musicians who uh, are already members and uh, so we have been providing them with at least 5000 rupees every month uh, from the time this uh, pandemic started uh our next uh project on the agenda is to provide medical insurance to musicians and their families at very subsidized uh, rates the first year we are planning to uh, sponsor uh, the medical insurances for the uh, members and then 
later on when things improve i'm sure the families will be able to fend for themselves and uh, the same thing happened for film musicians i mean we have we have like i said there are so many different areas when you take artists it's not only just musicians it's it, it, even in music you have the carnatic side the classical side the film side so film musician musicians are that's a huge uh, community so the same thing happened in the film uh, for to the film musicians as well everybody ran out of uh, jobs no performances nothing so again a few uh, musicians myself uh, uh, mr srinivas a very renowned uh, playback singer and even uh, uh, ms sujata uh, and a few others we started what is called the united singers charitable trust uh, and uh, we organized an online concert we organized on, it's a, it it went on for about 6 hours the concert was 6 hours where we had the biggest names in the industry including uh, shri ar rahman he performed uh, uh, hari haran ji shankar uh, mahadevan ji and so many of them performed um, and we were able to collect about uh, 52 lakhs and we have been distributing this to needy musicians and their uh, families and we are uh, now going to start uh, a pension scheme as well for musicians about the age of uh, 60 years of course this 3000 or 5000 we are giving is uh, really small but whatever we could do at least you know it will at least uh, give them uh, a meal and uh, we are only doing what we can uh, to do to these musicians and their families as much as possible as long as we have the money we'll be able to distribute it and uh, help but after that what are we going to do it may be difficult to uh sustain this continuously this is where i think uh, the government has to uh you know uh, come in and help artists uh, if you if you look at uh, what has actually happened there's been hardly any support from the uh, government organizations at least here in the south uh they have not been able to reach out I, i i'm not sure whether it is because we haven't been effectively able to reach out to the government we haven't been able to give them the right data or but a lot of uh, um, you know we have representation has uh, gone and we have uh, sent letters to the uh, chief ministers uh, to all the uh, organizations and the government uh, uh bureaucrats and everybody we have been trying to reach out to them but still we are not uh, able to we have not been able to reach out effectively so what do we need to do uh, we need to identify how to uh, do this you know because when we say uh, artists it means i mean it's a huge community actors technicians musicians music directors dancers cinematographers and it's such a huge uh, Uh, group and also each of them have their own representation they have their own associations they have their own unions so that's that's why it becomes so complicated so uh, we need to uh, make one very very uh, you know effective representation uh, to tackle this uh, problem in uh, uh, especially in tamil nadu uh if you look at uh, the main uh, government organization it's called the el isai nadaka mandram in fact they did uh, help a few uh, musicians they put out an advertisement saying we are going to help uh, artists by paying 1000 rupees but then you know it's again here say so some of them may not know it just comes uh, some ad comes in the paper it probably they put it in the tamil newspaper and then you know most of them don't know and it just doesn't go to the right uh, people i mean unless it is properly channelized you know it 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 doesn't really 
uh, make sense and uh, it's it's actually so sad because whenever the government wants to boost for example tourism or any other project uh, art and culture especially music and dance always they use it for this purpose right we are all cultural ambassadors and when when a pandemic like this comes the first uh, people they throw away <laughs> or uh, we uh, who are being abandoned will be the artists and nobody absolutely cares for them so you know i think it would be really good for every uh, state government uh, the local cultural committee or renowned cultural organizations to organize uh, um, at least programs for artists through webinars workshops or online performances and remunerate them see for artists for us we want to perform i mean getting money is one thing but that satisfaction of performing for an audience is the biggest thing for an artist that comes first money comes later you know it is so it's so important to uh, uh, create the opportunities so artists can perform because if they don't perform they go get into a depression many artists go into a depression they're not able to sing their creativity is gone they've been robbed of that you know uh, live performance because most of us when we perform it is looking at the audience and uh, the um, uh, seeing the audience the artists decide what we are going to perform so it's it's like it's the relationship it's a it's a kind of uh, give and take that happens Uh, on the concert uh, platform uh, and that is completely uh, gone and that's that's uh, so sad so so when are we going to see the light of uh, light at the end of the tunnel is is the big question of course we can't completely blame the government as well because they are also facing charge, uh, challenges tackling the uh, economy which has also taken a back seat uh, mostly uh you know most of the classical music and uh, performances thrive on sponsorships and corporate uh, sponsorships now with this pa- pandemic sponsors are also not uh, forthcoming so really can't blame them but uh, businesses are affected it's all it's all a cascading effect so the government uh, helping artists or protecting the art from uh, for, for the government that may not be a priority protecting art protecting artists and helping artists uh, so that's why it's so important to come together and make the right representation and uh, i think what you're doing sir is uh, goel the uh, the kind of work that you're trying to do creating the awareness is uh, just so um, amazing uh, i think uh, what i would say is we need to help them to help us so i think this uh, the central and the state governments need to uh, work in tandem to reduce the pain of the artist community the government should create an endowment you know with the help of uh, maybe uh, philanthropic uh, foundations corporate houses i mean this this is a lot of money I mean, this, this country uh, there is you can't complain at all because there's so it it has to be channelized that's all the government should create an endowment with the help of philanthropic corporate houses uh, individual citizens good hearted people and provide financial assistance you know the immediate require requirement is to put some money in everybody's pocket and of course uh, the long term goal should be to create infrastructure to nurture their creativity and offer long time um, you know lifelong support since uh you know we all know that ve- this the recovery of this whole industry the performance industry is going to be really slow so we need to really the government really needs to help us uh you know uh, help artists and uh what i would say is they have we have lot of very very good organizations like for example the we started this global carnatic music association we have this united singers Tra- charitable trust i'm sure there are many organizations shubhaji shubha mudgal she started uh, something i think it's it's for it's called arts artists for artists for artists i think and uh, you know so uh, there are so many 
um, of these organizations the government i think should work in tandem so already they have a database we know who are who the artists who who the artists are and who are all suffering we have got a good database so we will be able to work in tandem with the government and uh, be able to give those details and uh, of course uh, you know uh, i don't know if uh, you may have heard of the uh, rural employment guarantee act uh, so something uh, something like that i think we should bring in something like that for even uh, musicians so there is a sustained kind of income for artists i think uh, a huge role can be played by the sangeet natak academy or you know the national academy of music and dance the ministry of culture and they could really uh, bring together and uh, uh, set up a lot of uh, things to support various art forms including music performing arts sculpture painting even films i mean the sky is the limit so i think uh, that's the only way we can move forward and uh, you know because like uh, vinduja had mentioned that this uh, the tradition of our country is so rich i mean there's no other uh, country in this world can boast of such uh, treasures of a cultural treasure cultural history heritage and uh, we need to protect it and uh, we need to protect artists and we need to let them explore and explode you know their talent and their creativity if this has to thrive so okay Th- thank you very much uh, mr onni krishnan for giving such a nice views about uh, the art and artist of uh, what happened i think you just lost him uh, can you hear me yeah, i think I, i can hear you all but can't hear ah. god sir uh, i think probably must have lost him yeah we three are live except for mr ah. goyal yeah okay. <laughs> yeah let's wait for him he, he will join us soon yeah. oh i become the host now wow yeah you can you can <laughs> you can continue the show just hold on he'll he'll join us in few minutes probably there was yes. some kind of a, a connection problem punishan sir your daughter is an amazing singer now oh thank you and my all regards i'll do that thank you thank you mr job bahar se gayi and uh, And I have seen your wife performing in her school youth festival days. Oh, okay. <laughs> At Calicut. Okay. Yes. And Divya, yes. Divya is. I also seen Divya's performance too. I know. Oh. That. Oh, really? Okay. I must. I'm sorry. I'm just. For sure, sir. Nice. <laughs> There was a pretty veteran dance master under Charlie. No one at all. Charlie ah. master, I don't know. And Divya, but Priya, but which one? Ah, I'm, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Welcome back. Welcome yes, back, yes. Sir. I am sorry. The same thing happened to me. My net has gone down. Now this is the situation. So what I was mentioning about uh, uh, that uh, his daughter, uh, such a talented uh, Uttra, she won the uh, national award in her debut song. And and this is a very unique. Uh, I think this must be the only uh, uh, incidents when the. father and the daughter uh, one on the debut song the national <laughs> award such a talented family hats off to you now i would like to go uh, for the ne- our next round that is a question answer round although the time is short but uh, dr Vin- vinduya you were the honorary secretary of the uh, one man expert commission and you have written about the soft uh, 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 power as well as you have mentioned about the art and culture can you just enlighten it in in a very uh, brief uh, so that uh, we can i will go for the another so about say 3 4 minutes in the 3 4 minutes can you brief that what you have done for the uh, art and culture because when we are talking of the artist dr vinduya man please yeah 
Um, so before talking about the recommendation parts of it, I think I have to mention uh, mention uh, the man of ideas here, uh, the do Dr. C. V. Ananda Bose IAS himself. Um, he um, he is such a visionary. I think Goel, you know him very well personally. Such a visionary person, such a veteran. Um, uh, you know, though a bureaucrat, but he's very creative, very uh, vision and mission oriented person. So I know him personally from a very long time, very childhood days. But uh, uh, this is the first time I'm getting associated to him with work. So, of course, it was a tedious thing to work with his uh, spontaneity and uh, rapidness, uh, briskness, basically. But yes, I have tried my level best to match his uh, speed. Um, I want to definitely thank uh, Bosar for this great opportunity to work with him and to uh, work for the artists uh, across India. So there is a um, kind of 50 plus uh, recommendations which we have already drafted. So by end of uh, this month, positively, uh, it would be uh, submitted to our Honorable Prime Minister as well as the cultural department and the varied departments which uh, it needs to go. So um, it starts with a national mission of art and culture, um, you know, to flag uh, as the flagship for the promotion of India's uh, soft power. And um, we recommend the uh, art authority of India, you know, to nurture, promote, as uh, Unedan rightly said, it needs nurturing, promotion and propagate art, craft, uh, traditional knowledge and other uh, varied skills. Uh, it should be a, uh, you know, that should be a seminal agency which can um, provide social security and take uh, the overall development uh, of artists across the country. And um, uh, see, when I see say artist here, it it it. it it's not the only the performing artists. It's not only the um, you know traditional or folk artists. Whatever comes under the banner, the great, the big banner art, anything, any artist, any performers, any literary uh, personalities. So, um, so it is A A A L, which means artist, artist, artisans, and labor. That's triple A L. So um, then. Um, See, uh, I, the first thing which we found is uh, is the kind of um, um, lackness in, in the registry, in the kind of creative resources uh, registry. So there is no registry. Of course, Unyatan said that we had, of course, Jawbash also will tell that it, it is a very limited, every association has a registry, registry where it is only limited to that particular association. So the government needs to have a Indian uh, a creative or artistic resources registry and which which can provide a, a UID for all the registered members which through which we can do um, you know a kind of um, uh, insurance or or uh, uh, assured basic in, uh, uh, income for the artist um, then then um, it, there should be a national security board which we are recommending um, then the digital digital transformation at this time, I think, which is most important is um, uh, India never lacks in any of uh, the things, but digital transformation for art and culture is also mandatory change in, in I think, in Indian. But again, being a uh, stage performer, uh, I know uh, it is not a... a uh, you know, great thing for the stage performers, but we need to understand the circumstances and move accordingly to uh, preserve and you know promote art and culture in India. Uh, again, we have um, uh, uh, every time whenever I think of a uh, artistic institution, I always feel it has to be in a big in in different districts, uh, a naturally um, live heritage uh, village where uh, where it. Uh, promotes the stage culture or promotes the traditional art forms or uh, traditional cuisines. So it can be involved in a, in a, a, a heritage village. There are so many things, Mr. Goel, I know from your expression, you, you want me to stop here, but it's it's endless number of... Uh, I know, uh, I know. <laughs> we have kept ready. Hopefully, if this goes very well, I'm... I'm um, I'm praying my best, you know, I'm praying my best. The efforts all are taken very well and it is shaped and drafted very well under the leadership of Dr. C.B. Ananda Bosayas. And I want to thank again to him for the time and efforts that he has, 
taken for this, especially for the arts and culture um, and the artists across India. So hopefully this comes out. I, I, there should be some great revolution happening in India for sure. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Unni Krishnan, you have heard what uh, Dr. Yes. Bhuja Menon has said. You yeah. want to add anything? Just one minute. In one minute, yeah. please. Yeah, I think uh, only somebody like uh, Mr. Ananda Bose and somebody so passionate like Vinduja uh, who can work towards it. And, you know, it has to reach the right person. And, uh, so for that, we need people like uh, uh, Ananda Bose, who's a nice officer, very experienced. And uh, he will be, uh, uh, they, they could team up and this could be a great uh, initiative, I'm sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Job Master, you want to add anything uh, in, in this? Sure, sir. Uh Sure, sir. I'm totally agree with uh, Dr. Vindhuja Menon. And uh, I also uh, go for a um, data bank of artists. I repeat, a, a data bank for artists. As uh, in that data bank, that um, margin, margin communities must be the artists from every, every segment of life must be in that uh, data bank. And uh, government must provide them a special ID, something like UPI ID or something like that. And that should uh, get connected with the government agencies at any time. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So, so today you have seen the positive and negative side, both the sides of the impact of COVID-19 on artists and see the pain and anguish Although they are doing their best themselves, they have uh, created their own associations, their own efforts are helping. But as uh, our panelist has, I mean, Tony Krishnan has mentioned, there are a number of, number of artists which are not there on the, uh, in the association. Mm -hmm. What is going to happen to them? When we require them, we always look towards the artist, whether it's a um, marriage or the birth of a child or whatsoever, we always to see towards artists. Today, they require us. Why they should only look towards the government? Why not to the civil society? We all are also responsible. If it in person, we can't hold the pro programs, why not online? Please try to uh, encourage the artists, take them online uh, for your few uh, small gatherings, even for 50 or 100 people, and try to illuminate them so at least they can survive this difficult time. And then once this difficult time, which I'm sure is going to over very soon, then again, these artists will be there glittering in the sky like anything. And then again, we will proudly say they are our artists. And the artists will also proudly say, this is the civil society which helped us during this difficult time. Thank you very much for joining us. And today's program has been live telecasted by V4 News, Global TV, V4 Stream, Malnadu TV, News Gaon Se Sambhaz Saroka News, as well as it was shown live on Facebook and YouTube. And our endeavor is to bring to you every day new topic, current topic. And as you know, today, the India is playing the second one, uh, T2 or T20 match today in Australia. And tomorrow, we have to analyze uh, the match with the space list. So the tomorrow's program uh, will be dedicated to the cricket like the earlier we have done the Chak De India. We have not decided the topic name because we will decide after the uh, match today. But for the timing, we can say the Chuck the India 2 tomorrow. And our expert guests are Mr. Surendra Khanna, member Indian Premier League IPL Governing Council, former Indian cricketer and wicketkeeper from Chandigarh, wing commander Arjit Ghosh, former Ranji Trophy cricketer, coach and match referee, former secretary, Air Force uh, Sports uh, Board, from Bangalore and Mr. G. Raja Raman, freelance journalist and editor, circleofsports.com from Delhi. They all are going to give their expert opinions about this T20 series and will say something about the forthcoming test series with India and Australia. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Unni Krishnan. Thank you very much, Dr. Vindu Jamanan. Okay. And thank you, Mr. Job Master, for joining and giving your enlightening views. I'm sure our viewers might be enlightened and they might be doing something definitely for our artists. Thank you very much. Thank you.